Lions are cooperative hunters. To bring down prey almost four and a half times their size, they need to work together. But that's not what Christoph and Natalie Rue witnessed during a trip to South Africa's Kruger Park. I woke up early in the morning to have a game drive. As I was driving at the corner of my eyes, I've seen that thing jumping. It's a lone lioness trying to take on an injured buffalo. So we are very, very excited, almost panicking, looking around for the camera. The buffalo makes one final charge, but it's too weak, and the lioness moves in for the kill. She started then eating his hind legs, so he couldn't, you know, walk any further. By wrestling a 680 kilogram buffalo, this lioness might have bitten off a little more than she can chew. I actually thought that she wouldn't be able to, to take down that big buffalo. She's trying to wrestle the buffalo onto its side to expose the neck and belly. But this is a job suited for at least three specialized hunters. I thought that, you know, the pride would come along or other lionesses, you know, just to help her. But maybe an hour later, we realized that she's wanting to take this buffalo down all by herself. Even though it's injured, the buffalo is still a force to be reckoned with. It's actually pretty She took it very cautiously. She was never anywhere near the head of the buffalo or the neck, always trying to bring it down from the back, exhaust it, pull it down. The end is in sight. And then... Elephants don't like lions much at all. They will take any opportunity to chase them off and disturb them if they can. The drama isn't over yet. You would think that the elephant would just carry on walking. We would see this kind of thing uh, only once in the lifetime, and uh, that we were just right there at the right moment. The buffalo now has a shot at survival, proving that no gesture is too small to make a huge difference.